this Saturday morning. I hope you're having a wonderful start to this beautiful day that the Lord hath made. Let me ask you a question. Have you cursed anybody out? Maybe a child, a grandchild, a student. Or maybe you didn't curse them out, but maybe you used profanity or some language that you shouldn't have. I know, I can recall the Lord brought this to my memory. I can't remember what, what age my son was, but something came out of my mouth and whoo! I felt so bad and I had to go back to him. It might have just been, I might have used a D word, I don't know. But I just knew that I had to apologize to him, my son, and I had to repent before the Lord. Yeah, he's merciful. And because today is November 2nd, we go to Psalms 2 and 32 and 62 and 92 and 122. Psalms 32 tells us that Blessed is he or she whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. The Lord has cleansed us, right? Because in verse 5, it says, I acknowledge my sin unto the Lord and my iniquity, my wrongdoing, have I not hid. I didn't try to cover it like the ground is covered with all these leaves. Mm -mm. I acknowledge it. I, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sins. He promises to give us clearance and purity because that's the whole purposes of the blood of Jesus and the cross. Amen. We don't keep on repeating uh, -uh because in Psalms 32, it says in verse 8, the Lord will instruct you. He will teach us the way thou shalt go. So he's not going to teach us and show us the wrong path to keep on going uh uh if we're listening to him and we're taking heed he will guide us with his eye now the problem is sometimes we want to be stubborn and do our own thing in verse 9 it says be not as the horse or the mule which have no understanding whose mouth must be held with a bit or a bridle you got to you got to you know have some type of exterior motivation to do the right thing no it's internal, it's our heart. And the promise is we will be surrounded by the mercy of the Lord. Mercy shall compass him or her about, and we can be glad in the Lord and rejoice and shout for joy. All ye upright in, in heart. Amen. It's all about the heart, y'all. Whatever comes out of the heart, it's going to manifest itself in the words we speak. So let's do that heart check. And in Psalms 92, no matter what age we are, God's promise is when we are planted in the Lord, we will flourish whatever age. It says that we will still be healthy. We will not be suffering, bitter, like bitter old ladies. Old men, ah, he can't do anything. Mm -mm. We shall still bring forth fruit in our later years Fat, that means healthy and flourishing, producing what the Lord would have us to do. Amen. We are in 2 Chronicles 15, and the Lord brought this to me. It's about King Asa. It's either his mother or grandmother was doing something that was not pleasing to the Lord. It says concerning, in verse 16, concerning Micah. It says the mother of Asa. Another version said his grandmother. The point is that she did something that was not good. She had this Asherah idol set up, and what did King Asa do? He did the right thing. He removed the queen mother from her throne. He's like, no, grandma, mm -mm. no, Nana, you can't do that. He said, you gotta go, and I have to cut the idol in the grove. And Asa cut down her idol and stamped it and burned it at the brook. Why? Because he wanted to be perfect. He wanted to please the Lord all his days. So even our children sometimes have to check us. Like, Ma, uh, you know, and then we have to humble ourselves. Yeah, you're right. Lord can use a mule, a donkey. He can use a toddler. We better listen to the signs of the Lord. So, if you curse out your children today, turn around and say, you know what, I am so sorry. Check your heart. If you have done something, if you have 
than a white lie, said a white lie, black lie, gray lie, green lie. They pick up on it, and then we wonder why they're in the state that they're in. It starts with us adults. All right, hope you have a wonderful Saturday in the Lord. About to go to a couple homegoing services, celebrating the life of my former boss and so many other people who have been impacted my life. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Enjoy.